Sorry it took so long for me to get back to y'all with the story time, which I know everybody wants. So here we go. And please do me a favor, just in case the algorithm don't bring those people back who really wanted to know, go go find a comment and tag them in this so they can so they can know. But anyways, here's the story. That's smart. I like that. Go find them and tag them just in case the algorithm don't tell them. Smart. You go tell them. It's a second reason for you to comment. You hear me? It's a second reason other than saying hi. Those people back who really wanted to know. Go, go find a comment and tag them in this so they can so they can know. Okay. But anyways, here's the story of the woman that brought her child to daycare who was already dead. Mm, okay, damn. so there was a little boy. One day at the daycare. Did you hear what she said? Yeah. Someone who brought a child to daycare that was already dead. I can believe it. She probably put it in the car seat and probably was going to take it to daycare and play like the daycare uh, worker skilled the child. Mm. Child to daycare who was already dead. Okay, so there was a little boy. One day at the daycare, he got sick and threw up. So my director told his mama... He can't come back unless you bring a doctor's note, you know, stating that he's okay. So a few days go by and it was made clear among the staff, don't let him come back because his mama didn't come up with the doctor's note. But after a few days, when the woman showed up to drop the baby off, the staff member that was there went on and let her, you know, drop him off. And the mama says, you know, I gave him some medicine. He's asleep right now and he'll probably be asleep for a little while because I gave him some medicine. And I was like, oh, okay. But then she's like, can I lay him down because he's asleep? And she was like, sure. So she goes and she lays the baby down. Mm. And it just so happened that within five minutes of her dropping this baby off, my director calls to check in. And she's like, you know, who's all there right now? And the staff member is naming off the kids, so-and-so, so-and-so, so-and-so. And then when she gets to his name, my director's like, huh? What is he doing there? She was like, oh, yeah, he came to drop him off. She said he's doing fine, blah, blah, blah. And she was like, I said don't let him come back until the mama gets a doctor's note. And so... She, my director says, go and go and check him, you know. And when she goes over there, she's like, he's not moving. Mm. So my director's like, turn him over. When she mm. turns him over, he was already gone. And it was clear that he had been gone for hours. He was, you know, black and blue. Now, oddly enough, in a story like this, the woman didn't kill him. He had been sick his whole life and he had water on his brain. Like when the autopsy came back, it was natural causes. She And she had a history of mental illness. And when she, when she found him passed away, she just freaked out and still brought him in. So she didn't go to jail or anything like that. He passed of natural causes and she just did the weirdest, craziest, most irrational thing that you could do. But she that's, was in shock. that's the story. She was in shock. She, the she was in shock. She and knew, you know, I think in those cases like that, she knew it was gonna happen. Yeah, just, she didn't know. She didn't know when. Yeah, that's sad. That's I think that's one of those cases where you can't you can't really just judge the person. But the director was trying to do right by her staff to keep them from getting in trouble or anything yeah, by saying, the baby, "Hey, she knew the baby was real ill. The baby, yeah, she felt like the baby needed to be seen. Yeah." Like, you know, like she, she felt said, it in her spirit. Like, uh-uh. Uh-uh. That's uh -uh. what she said. Did that, did baby go see a doctor? Baby yeah. didn't see no doctor. But you know what? That employee should have listened and remembered what the director uh, instructed well, her to do. No, was this baby seen? That's how she said. Exactly. Go, the baby, make sure that baby all right. Because when I worked at a daycare, if you don't bring a doctor's note back with a signature and a date on it. That's a no-go. Your baby ain't coming in this daycare. And that's the way it should be. It should be a no-go. Yeah. That's a sad story. I'm sorry to hear that, that mama. Yeah. Sad child, R.I.P. Little one, no baby shit after it. Dirt any water on the brain. I can only imagine what that is, or what or what that parent had to go through taking care of a child like that. You know, a lot of a lot of pain, a lot of struggle. Oh yeah. I can only imagine the shock to find your child that way. You know, I would never wish that, that on nobody. Know, That's it just was, it's bound to happen. Then, uh -huh. then it does. Yeah. And it's like, oh no. Mm hmm. What do I do? What do I do? Oh <sighs> yeah, I pray for this that that story, but um. Make sure y'all like, share, subscribe, you guys. And if y'all have any more stories that are like interesting and that y'all feel like we didn't need to, we really just need to discuss, you know what to do. Put them in the comments. Mo hold on. When you worked at a daycare, were there any situations like this that popped no. up or arise? No. Any kids that would come in that where your doctor director was like, hold on, something might be going on at home. You mm -hmm. ever seen any kids with you know that were concerned? I worked at a few daycares, but you've uh, never seen any kids that had concerns. Yes, I'll say the first daycare I you worked at. You don't say at, names or anything, but you know. Well, I don't even remember that movie. But the first daycare I worked at, I was about maybe 18. 
And I remember it would be this little baby that would come in. He was so tiny. He was a preemie. He always had, like, upper respiratory issues. Mm. I remember one time his, his mama told us uh, right before she brought him in that he had stopped breathing. And the director was like, yep, no, 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 no. You need to take him straight to children's. Yeah, doctor. Like, and the girl got so frantic. She was just like, why can't I? I pay my monthly fees, you know. You it's up to breathing. y'all to take care of my mom late for work. She was like, you leave this child here. I'm going to have to call Department of Human Services. Yeah, DHS, for sure. She didn't leave the baby there, needless to say. She yeah. took him to the emergency room. Yeah, it's your baby. Your job will understand. Nobody told you to gap it open and have a baby. That is crazy because your job will understand is your child. You talking about your child stop breathing? Unless what? you got one of them. Hold on, there are some jobs out here that are just pure A double S's that no. that don't care. It it you know. <laughs> Even if that's Ooh. the case, because they're tight. <laughs> Ew. Even if that's the case, right? Even if that's the case. Yeah. Your child stop breathing. You take your child to the hospital. Yeah. No, nothing else. You don't do nothing else. You go straight there. You don't and even. She go, was a young. You don't mama. even go to the daycare. Why the hell are you at the daycare? Well, she. If I'm not mistaken, I want to say she was like, maybe nineteen, twenty. <laughs> she went too much older than me. Mm. And you could tell just by looking at her and her the, mannerism. Yeah. Mm. Like her upbringing wasn't okay. Common sense says if your child's sick, call your PCP. You know. Yeah. It was more or less, girl, I'm going to take them to the doctor uh, whenever I get a chance. But they going to daycare today, girl. I'm trying mm-hmm. to get my hair done. That saddens me. Yeah, y'all know who I'm talking about. There's parents out there like that. Well, hopefully y'all don't know anyone in this situation or kids that have been in this situation or had to deal with anything like this or have you seen. Yeah, hopefully you ain't never been in car issues. Oh, wait, I've time. never done nothing like this. But no, well, I'm just saying, seen anything like this. I've seen crazy things in the hospital, but never with kids. Never with kids. Kids Look, are a completely different story. You know, in all honesty, are, in all honesty, y'all just stay away, aware and pay attention to these kids. Uh-huh. Even at the grocery store, pay attention to kids because mm-hmm. sometimes you can look at a child and clearly tell that something's. Yeah, we didn't, we didn't let our right. kids do no daycare. It took Roman to learn. Kyrie made sure we didn't. No daycares. No daycares. No. So, to each his own, but y'all stay safe. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Until next time, y'all. Well, I'll let y'all.